presence at Phantom, you know? <laughs>
grapes over there where everybody's at. You're off here. Okay. Which one of us is going to carry the car? <laughs> <laughs> you can definitely carry the I got room in my pockets. We, <laughs> <laughs> we swear he's just like a kangaroo. Man, I'm losing, my, I'm losing the creamer into my armpit. Things we're doing for our customers right now. $13 coffee maker. Yep. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Where, did, Where did the this? tape go? Back to this floor. Okay. It's a nice straw hat right there. What? 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 <laughs> Let's go with the green for you. We're good. We're good. Unless you want to look for magnets. Quick. No, I no, I don't want to look for <laughs> magnets. I want to check out at this point. Hey, sorry, I'm gonna to have to ask you to stop filming in here. I'm gonna to have to ask you to go. Sunscreen. Oh, Davy. I'm not getting sunscreen. <laughs> don't worry, your aloe from last year's in the camper for you. Oh, great. That'll be nice when I'm burnt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great straw hat. I hope it's not too expensive. That isn't. It's like twenty bucks. We might have to make a game time decision. I like to go to this one for when I screw stuff up, they can check on me quickly. I That's got a nice it. tower. That's a good tower. SFJ, we're, we're efficient in our tower making. That's a great hat. Ooh. That's coming out of Davey's paycheck because he should have bought it yesterday. <laughs> All of this yesterday. <laughs> we have snacks. No, these are not snacks. These, these are, are These are snacks. Meals. These are snacks. These are snacks, Davey. Right. I think that was very successful. That's the first time I think we've been told not to film in a Walmart. Meva Walmart, we appreciate you. I don't. Uh, I give you a five star review out of five. I give them a zero. Because they're just like any other Walmart except their employees are not nice. And we were buying stuff for our customers. We are going to have a charcuterie spread at our booth. Nobody else is going to have it. Nobody else is going to have that. That's okay, definitely. Put your damn seatbelt on. Really, it's the, the Jeep does all the work. That is the Jeep mating call. Ryan is coming, uh, so he's gonna come down and check out his Jeep in living color. And so I wanted to make sure it was warmed up and, and doing good for him. He's gonna be taking this down to the invasion tonight. And so it'll be making the, the commute from here to Butler downtown. Uh, to be on display as part of uh, our our parking vendor area. So definitely a very cool opportunity for Ryan, the owner, and obviously for us to to display it. Jeep mating call and all. Come here for a hug, Davey. All right, folks, Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival 2023. This is year 11 for SFJ 4x4. We are arguably one of the longest running sponsors of this particular event, and we appreciate everything that they do for the Jeep community. Once again, we have uh, our booth set up here. We've brought in a bunch of our you know, Jeeps, whether they be you know, employee or family owned, or then obviously customer vehicles, from the performance side of things to the vintage resto, showing off uh, just the diverse capabilities of our team at Sims Family Jeeps. We've got product for sale. We have Jeffrey's camper. So if you're a person who's been following along on the podcast, first of all, we've had an overwhelming response with everybody who listens to us, you know, at work or on their commutes or while they're working in the garage. We appreciate that. We really enjoy you coming by and, you know, checking out the booth. We have Artie back again this year. Artie is on Hutchie Beadlocks and Yokohamas. You see it all, all prepped and ready up on the Dana crate. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of product 
on uh, Super Sale, right? It's been around for a long time. So at this point in time, we just want it to go and we're making deals, making stuff go for, for people from, you know, tires, wheels, uh, gear sets, suspension components, the whole shooting match. That's the number one thing people keep saying is they want more product to buy at this show. We're bringing it, so you gotta buy it. We've got a bunch of merch. The Savage has been working on uh, a bunch of different off-road designs. We've got the uh, American Legends shirt. We got my fave, World's Okayest Off-Roader, right? We've got tanks this year, everybody was asking for those. And we got the, the vintage Easter egg, uh, which is just a, a super cool, clean look. Folks, is this beef jerky? Is that, if I asked you to buy beef jerky, would, would you buy a Slim Jim? Davey bought us 26 of these fantastic Slim Jims. They happened to be sitting on the, on the shelf when customers were shopping. And uh, they asked how much the Slim Jim was. I, I don't know. So now we've priced it. And, and for, for just $12. Oh, at the customer's recommendation, we made it $12. At the customer's recommendation, this is now a $12 official SFJ 4x4 beef jerky Slim Jim. Oh, whoa, whoa. we almost lost Davey. Uh, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. No, 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 no. Davey needs to, has to sit on the back. For, for being a golf cart, that's pretty sensitive. It's got some, got some oomph to it, huh? What are we up to, Jeffrey? Did we steal a golf cart? Of course. Isn't that tradition at this point? It, it wouldn't be a real event without us stealing a golf cart. Adam Jeep Festival 2013. Wait, did you say 2013? 2023? Oh, 2013 because of the the JK that we just got. But yeah, 2023 Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival right here on Main Street in the vendor section. It is loading up significantly. I would say we walked to the uh, on either end of the show so far and there's probably another mile and a half to two miles of Jeeps on both ends of Main Street. So it is, uh, it is filling up. A lot of cool builds, a lot of big builds, a lot of really good interest in the Simpson Family Jeep build here, that 78 CJ. It's been a really good showing so far, a lot of interest, a lot of questions, a lot of folks stopping by to tell us how much they love it, that they've seen it on YouTube or seen it on Facebook. So a lot of folks uh, giving us a shout out, which has been awesome. I think we're gonna probably walk back down to the other end, probably grab some food. Hunter's already gotten uh, one hot dog in, so uh, one hot dog, nine donuts as a matter of fact. So. We're probably gonna have to go find him some milk and maybe uh, some Rolaids by the sounds of it. Uh, part of the Epic Willys Adventure, which is a bunch of ragtag old Willys Jeeps, 40s and 50s, and uh, we pick points on the map and we take epic adventures. This year brings us to Butler, PA for the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival, and we're going to be leaving Sunday morning at 10 a.m. and traveling up through the Finger Lakes region of upstate New York, all the way up to the St. Lawrence Seaway. We're going to shoot across Vermont and uh, Lake Champlain up into northern New Hampshire, go uh, touch the summit at uh, Mount Washington, and then head on down to Western Mass, cruise across the top of the Alleghenies uh, in PA, and end back here in Butler uh, seven days later. So follow along, epicwilliesadventure.com, 
we've got uh, a live stream of all the rigs. Uh, it's a, uh, the race for the Concord Cup, so come watch the challenge. Get him on, get him on. Hey, Monster, if you're, if you're out there looking at us, Monster for a Monster right here, Ultra, coming in live. Welcome to, welcome to the SFJ 4x4 Deference. Man, there are people still lining up to get in here. Yeah. To oh. see this, I think. To see, absolutely, to yeah, see yeah. this. That's, that's what I heard. I heard people murmuring back there. Downtown Butler Jeep Invasion. If you don't know what's up, this is, it's insanity, right? It's from the state of New York to West Virginia border, just straight up Jeeps, right? And it's thousands of people, both Jeep enthusiasts and locals from, you know, from Pittsburgh, from the whole surrounding area, pile down here and check out all the very, very, very cool builds and consumer vehicles. That's where we're going. Yeah, we're having we're... shirts made that say that say I blame Neil. <laughs> no, it's Neil. It's Neil's fault. <laughs> I, I'm a good influence. I, I but... actually blame you for a lot. Whenever something's not going right, I tell I tell Doc it's, Brown, it's I'm Neil's like, fault. I blame Neil. And I he's like, Neil. the first time he goes, well, Neil hasn't touched it, and I'm like, but I blame Neil. And he yeah. goes, you know what? You're right. It's Neil's fault. It's kind of, like, oh, it all right. trickles downhill. Yeah. I'm glowing. That's because it was a great, it was a great first day at Bantam. I saw a lot of really good customers. We met some new people. Met some new uh, bunch of people who watch us on YouTube or uh, listen to us on the podcast. So that's a wrap on day one. Uh, we had a, a great time. We met a lot of our podcast listeners, uh, the folks who are watching these videos. We really appreciate your support. That was super cool. Obviously, Ryan came in. He got to really enjoy how much people uh, were appreciating hashtag not a restoration. And then he and his family and the Savage obviously headed downtown for the invasion, which was just a spectacular turnout of people all united there you know about the jeep life one of the highlights which was just super fun was savage and uh and the italian stallion grabbing the event organizer patty joe's golf cart procuring it and being able to tool about the entire grounds and get the footage that they got and see the people that they saw and so we were thankful for that and and just that was hysterical I mean, day one was fantastic, despite the fact that we did actually start the day getting kicked out of Walmart. But that's, that's beside the point. On to day two. Why isn't day two a thing, Savage? Oh, I didn't feel like going. <laughs> you bold-faced liar didn't feel like going. You were doing a very valuable service in supporting your sister at her graduation. And many well wishes to Michaela and all that she chooses to do in life. And congratulations for graduating high school. Day two was awesome. We had a great time. Uh, we talked to a ton of people. Obviously, Saturday is a very, very busy day. And if we didn't cover it, and of course, you probably saw the photos already. You know, we had Jeff's Gladiator. We had my dad's LJ. We had hashtag not a restoration, the 78 CJ5 that everybody loves. We had Artie, the, the JL, the long arm JL. And on Saturday, since the Savage didn't come with me, I actually bombed down there in uh, Chuck Norris. So doors off, you know, hatch open. And I managed to take a picture of me exceeding the speed limit. I'm not gonna incriminate myself here um, necessarily on YouTube, but it just makes me appreciate no sway bars, no steering stabilizers, 40s, uh, 22 PSI, and was appropriately traveling with traffic at, you know, 7, 8 a.m. heading down to Bantam. Day three. You got like the real thing here. Oh yeah. Like you got the whole production thing going. We're producing. I mean, I know you guys do, but we're, like you got it. We're, we're trying to do a thing. I love the microphone. Yeah, that's 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 all savage. That's uh, that's so cool. We're going around, you know, trying to trying to communicate with people. I can't even clap.
There is that what that was? That's all that. I'm not, I'm not doing it again. Hey Jeep family, Neil with SFJ4x4.com, Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival 2023, and the decorated <laughs> event organizer from the beginning, Patty Joe. The, 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 the myth, the legend, right? <laughs> How are you doing? How's the show? The show's been awesome. It you has know, been. Anytime we have great weather, it's a great show. And yes. uh, we've had that this weekend, so it's been amazing. Huge crowds coming in, lots of Jeeps. It's been awesome. Uh, the, the big registration tent and some of the other decorations didn't get set up that far ahead of schedule. Why? Well, we got blown away by a huge storm totally the got. Wednesday night before the event. So yeah. uh, that Thursday, we were basically starting over what we did what? on Tuesdays. What it's are you low. doing? I know. What is this? Me. Oh, no. Patty Joe, <laughs> what? You what? know, I really like to have a presence at Bantam, you know? <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> Since the family of Jeeps has really, like we said, we, yeah. you've been part of us for Yes, we've been institutionalized with we each have. other. We have, we grew point, up so. together. Yes, so, that's exactly um, it. So although I'm still that. working on that. There we go. <laughs> See, yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up? We need to go do some wheeling? Yes, sir. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. So we're in the famous uh, Daddy Jeep buggy. Yes, we are. We're at the 2023 Cooper's Lake uh, Phantom Jeep Heritage Festival. Out doing a little ride on one of our blue trails. This is Dirty Dave's. You're trying to catch me get stuck? Yeah. Yeah? And then maybe crash into the tree. I'm not crashing into the tree. Glad you guys made it out. Yeah. Good seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Glad you encouraged us to go out. Yeah, for sure. That's a wrap, folks. Bantam, Jeep Heritage Festival 2023 in the books. Uh, we had a great weekend. We saw a lot of good people, didn't we, Savage? Sure did. And uh, we made the best of it. We made the best, and the weather was good. And now we've got really great people helping clean up at the moment, pick up, and uh, I think the teardown is as interesting as the uh, the pack out, but I gotta be honest, Savage, you did a great job loading the trailer. Thanks. Listen, we've been doing this, Bantam, 11 years. We just had fun with it. Believe me, we're still hustling and grinding, but the days where, you know, we were gonna be upset by an event, uh, you know, nothing that happens at Bantam is gonna upset us at this point. We had lots of people come by, familiar faces. One of the things that I appreciate that I think it's really valuable to say is, uh, how many people have gotten to be part of your family and your Bantam experience year after year after year and how much I actually really enjoy that and I appreciate it. I've literally watched kids grow up, go off, get married, have children. You know, we've been doing this 11 years. They're, they're 25, 26 at this point. That's what Bantam's about. And it's really that idea that we can get together as a community and kind of get united, right? So all these people from different walks of life, from different places, all around the country, all around the world, can get together and kind of bond over this shared experience, the rugged individualism, the, the perception of freedom that these vehicles offer us. And we can, we can go off-roading, we can camp, we can cook out, uh, we can tell stories about where our Jeeps have taken us and where we hope that, they'll, they'll, that we will eventually go in them. The history, the present, and the future. And that's what Bantam really brings to the table. Totally a wrap on Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival 2023. We thank the committees, the event organizers, but specifically you, the viewers, and our listeners for coming past uh, our booth, for sharing your stories with us, and making what we do 
uh, relevant and valuing uh, how we have contributed to your Jeep experience. By sharing that with us, it makes what we do 100% worth it. Until next time, Jeep on.